Hey guys, we are out at M1 Concours in Pontiac, Michigan with the BMW 230i. Substitute Topher is going to be joining me today. He's already spent quite a bit of time in this car yes. and he just got a track session out in it. And we're going to be taking this out, get some first impressions on what this is like on a racetrack. We're going to throw it around a little bit, push it just a tad more than we will be able to on the street. We have a two liter B48 turbocharged four cylinder, makes 255 horsepower, around 300 pound feet of torque. We have an eight speed ZF automatic transmission. This is rear wheel drive, has a ton of options. We'll put those in the description. But what the most important option you need to know is that it has the limited slip differential. And unlike the M240i that we drove a few weeks ago, or actually a couple months ago at this point in the winter, this has summer tires and it's rear wheel drive. A nice recipe for a fun enthusiast package. You might have noticed my BRZ is parked in front. We also filmed a drag race video between these two. Um, didn't go as well for the BRZ as I would have hoped. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think spiritually these cars are very similar and I'm curious to see how fun this is to drive on track. I feel like this is kind of the better Supra four-cylinder that people might want to be more inclined to buy. 100%. Unless if you know they don't like the looks or something. It does look a little funny. I'd rather have this than a four-cylinder Supra. I think I would day. too. It's so much more practical oh, yeah. and it's pretty fun to drive. I would say if you're thinking about an automatic BRZ, if you could swing it, buy one of these instead. Yeah. So you can probably get one for a little over 40 grand with some good options. Yeah. As spec, this is $50,000, but it has every option on it. And uh, it's kind of overkill, honestly, for, oh, totally. for what you need. But yeah, and I, I don't like the way that the Supra feels like a cocoon. Like you, it's it's very claustrophobic to me, the interior of that car. It is claustrophobic. Um, this has a sunroof, like, yeah. You're it's got a light colored interior. Here. I think you can only get, what are your interior colors? Uh, what, what can you get in a Supra? I've only ever seen them with black. I think it's just black. Is it just black? Yeah, yeah. Black. they haven't really come out with anything yet. Oh my gosh, is the racetrack on the navigation? I think it is. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so we're gonna go full Sport Oops, Plus. Sorry. Traction, stability control off. Oh, you're going full off. Okay. I'm going full. I'm not even gonna do manual mode. He's a pro. Oops, looks like I can't. Don't steer while you're trying to adjust your steering wheel. Yeah. That's not a pro move. Setting right a there. good example. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, big thanks and shout out to M1 Concourse for letting us have a go on the track today in these two cars. Got a little bit of a uh, spicy drive in the BRZ. Got a feel for that. This makes a good noise. It does when you're in when you're in Sport Plus. Yeah. It, it, it pipes in a little bit of a noise. It sounds like Angry Bees. It does, yeah. <laughs> it's Angry Bees. <laughs> it's not quick, but it's yeah. a reasonable amount of power. Yeah. Love the steering. It, I think the steering in this is better than the M240i was. Yeah. Well, BMW is starting to get their steering right again. Yeah. In non-M cars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nice high rev limit. It just feels marginally quicker than the BRZ in a straight line. <laughs> the chassis is really good too. This does not feel like it weighs 3,500 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, it just keeps pulling. Oh yeah. We're on a set of Pirelli P0 tires. And they are gripping very nicely. Yeah, they feel great. <laughs> oh, what a fun car. Yeah. It's just happy. Yeah. I don't know, would you rather have this or the all-wheel drive M240? Oh, it's so tough. I'm probably the M240i. Just because we live in Michigan, I can drive it year-round and it's blisteringly fast. Yeah. The all-wheel drive system is really nice and that engine, that B58 inline six is oh, just yeah. a peach. Oh yeah. But I can 100% appreciate this car. Yeah. Sport Plus, it's it's happy. Like the yeah. paddles are very immediate, very active. Oh yeah. BMW always does a good job of that no matter what car you're in. Yeah. Nice downshifts. Will it drift? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Did you move 
my seat up a little bit. Cool. Feel that M limited slip diff? Yeah. Gosh, for, you know, 40 or mid 40 grand, this is a really fun option. I, I never spent as much time in a two series as I would have liked. Yeah. But there's just a sweet spot in the lineup and they're the right size. They're about the right price. And I would say finally, this particular generation of two series is nice enough to like warrant that price. And the interior feels like it does in the three series and they're every other BMW. Like it's that same corporate interior and it's right. really high quality. Like you get, you get a good cabin. Whereas before in the two series, you kind of got a little shafted. Yeah, like it like just felt cheaper. cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Rotates nicely. It does. That limited slip is doing its job. Falls off a little bit in the higher revs, but gosh, brakes are holding up really well. It says like the M performance package and the adaptive dynamic steering and all, all the options. It's probably fully loaded. Yeah, a lot better on track from the factory than I was expecting. That's awesome. And it makes you feel like a hero around the corners. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think just because you can like do a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, this is a fun little ride. It's got just enough power to be able to do that. It does. But the M240, like that felt very all wheel drive. Yeah. But you could still probably get it a little sideways in the dry just because of its power level. Yeah. Well, that car's got like 120 more horsepower than this one. Yeah. Yeah, and the, honestly, the price difference between the two isn't as much as I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, yeah, it, it's it's a little bit of a tough sell for the four cylinder, but I think if you want like the enthusiast option, uh, this is a great, this is a great little car. Yeah. I, I'm excited to spend the whole weekend. This is literally my first time driving yeah. it today. <laughs> um, I took it out for like 20 minutes this morning, toss it around and I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be fun. It's actually better on track than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. So uh, Charlie and I were driving this car a couple weeks ago and- You had it on winters, right? We had it on winter tires. Oh. And obviously we've spent a lot of time in the M240i as well. And in the M240i, neither of us desired a stick. But in this car, what do you think? Would you like to have a six-speed manual or do you like this eight-speed automatic? I think, I think a six-speed would be fun. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the eight-speed is really, 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 really good in this car. Yeah. Like it's almost perfect. Yeah. I actually, I don't know. I, I think the eight speed automatics suit cars like this more than they do the M cars because they're just the right amount of like aggressiveness, shift speed, responsiveness. Yeah. And in the M cars, they fall a little bit short compared to the old dual clutches. But yeah, manual would be fun in this. Yeah, I think so too. Who knows? Not necessarily in the M240, but in this 230i, a manual would be sweet. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna be seeing a manual Supra and some more manual options from BMW here soon. <laughs> too little too late but um i don't know as this car sits if you can swing it to answer our initial question 100 percent buy this over an automatic brz or a four-cylinder supra or a four-cylinder i think i would buy this over four cylinder Supra. the yeah. supra does look really cool though it does yeah so that's kind of a you know if you want a practical option it's also a luxurious nice bmw daily driver this is this is great better than I thought it would be. And it also looks pretty similar to the M240i. Like the differences in appearance aren't as much as I thought they would be like. Oh no, well with the M Sport Pack, it's almost identical. Exactly, you're right, you're right. Yeah. The M Sport Pack, it makes a big, uh, a good case for yeah, that. It's almost, almost identical, not quite, but yeah, very close. Okay, what do you think? A few more laps in the BRZ? Yeah, I have never even sat in your BRZ. Oh my so. gosh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, you can see the front grill inlets are open to allow for extra cooling. Look at that. Yeah, for not being an M car, great on track. You could you could do a 20 minute session on this. The brakes oh, yeah. didn't feel yeah. unhappy Look at any how well point. The tires have held up. Yeah, these Pirellis will they're like they'll wear they won't wear out at all. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's probably hot. It's it's a little warm, but they felt really good. These brakes did awesome. Yeah. Okay, so maybe there are a few options you yeah, want to check. Yeah, this has got the M brakes. M brakes. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell because they say M on them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know. Every time I see one of these, the looks grow on me more and more. Yep. When it first came out, the photos, I was just, 
I was disgusted, oh, it was appalled. In the press photos. I like a little bit of like, you know, sick. Sick came up, and now I'm like, oh, this is okay. The yeah. the fenders look really cool. There's a little lip spoiler. The taillights are a bit strange, but like, the proportions have somehow really grown on me over time, in person at least. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Topher's out. Topher's out. Check out Chris's channel, Topher Drives. One yes. word. Topher drives one word. Topher drives one word. Yeah. All right, back in the breezy.